Hello there, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Are we ready? Well, let's get ready for some word, amen? Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 15 and 16. Again, the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 15 and 16. And here's what Paul is saying. He says, uh, we will lovingly follow the truth at all times. He says, speaking the truth, dealing the truth, living the truth, and so become more and more in every way like Christ. Isn't that the way we should be functioning today, folks? Living by the truth, in the truth, for the truth. But if you turn your Bibles to the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6, this is what he says. Christ is the truth. And the Holy Spirit who guides the church is the spirit of truth. That's the reality. This is what he's saying. He says, he is the realities of all God's promises. And let's stick to that truth. Because so often we have an adversary, the, the father of lies. And you'll find that in John, the book of John, chapter 8, 42 and 44, how the father of lies functions to try to deceive us. And so the father of lies, uh, he, he, he uses you know, our pride, our stubbornness, our prejudices to lure us away, to, dis, to discredit us, to, to, to cause us to stumble. And, and God is saying, we need to start learning that we must be committed to the truth. We cannot lose sight. I had a close friend and mentor, a brother in the Lord. I mean, he was, he was uh, a truly a spiritual man. Uh, and he loved God. But at one point in time in his life, he felt that, you know, he was already spiritually strong. That he can probably be effective. And I've seen how the lies affected him. You know, we used to go to conferences together, do conferences. We used to, I mean, we used to do so many things. He was truly uh, one I looked up to. And it didn't take long how the enemy can actually use the lies to deceive and, and to distract us from the truth. And so I want to encourage you. I want you to encourage you, and, and I want you to read the book of uh, Luke, chapter 22, verse 31 and 32. Again, the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 31 and 32, where Peter at one time felt strong, spiritually strong, and, and, and Jesus was telling him, listen, the, the enemy is out there to set you up, you know? And so we got to be careful not to get set up by the enemy, amen? Remember, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Let's stick to the truth. Amen? God bless you. Have a wonderful day.